Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty with Ty. This is actually the sixth day that I had to style in. I just refreshed my edges. It has literally been in this exact same ponytail. Um, I did install these twists with two different methods. In the front, I just wrapped the hair around. In the back, I actually plaited the hair in. And this is eight inch hair. They are on Amazon. So yeah, just click the link down below and let's get into this video. Okay y'all, so I sectioned out like the perimeter of my hair. Whatever, just get it out there. Now I'm going to add this leave-in conditioner. I got to hurry up. I just know this joint needs some moisture. I'm going to take some hair cream. I need a lot. So fluffy. So I'm actually going to split this in half and do like two plaits. Because I need this to be flat. Woo! I'm struggling with this. But it must Go! Okay. Okay, I don't know how I just got that in there, but it is what it is. Okay, boom. All right, let me show y'all the hair that I received for this crochet style. I'm in a bag like this. with a hook and some accessories nine packs that's a lot maybe because they're short eight inch eight inch won't be that's why i said i was doing a bun too i just kind of forgot eight inches cute short but i'm wearing this in like a quick bun style you know what i can just do this in the middle one got my bone through Okay, so when I do these braids, I'm going to do them like moon shape instead of squares since I'm just doing a perimeter edge control. So open it up and pull this piece of hair through and I'm going to wrap my hair around the base and then twist it in there. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, so I have two more braids left in the front. So here, this one you can see I added the edge control already. I look like this because I still get a lot of questions about edge control. And here's the one I just have edge control at the roots but not on my ends. See that needs to be tamed. We'll get it like this. So make sure you have enough edge control if you decide to do it this way. Put a little bit on the ends. So let me show you one more time. Finish. Put my hair through. Then you can see here I was just kind of twisting this. Make sure this is tight before I twist around it. Because it makes no sense as if it's loose, you know. So we're going to twist that. Just so it can remain a twist. And I can get it close to the root. And then I hold it. Twist around my root twice. Keeping it right at the root. And then I bring it down. Bring it down one or two twists. And now just twist loosely so that my hair can twist in between so I'm basically wrapping my hair around the root as if I was doing like a full lock with fake hair. But I'm doing it with my hair. Okay, that took about an hour and 15 minutes just to do the front. And this is three packs of hair. 
Now I just have this bottom section to do. All right, you guys, so I'm done with the back. And I actually did the back different, which is an easier method. Let me show you. So everything is still the same. Edge control on the entire piece. That's very important. And instead, I split the hair into two, open my twist up, and put the loop through just one piece. So now I have three pieces of hair, and then I just plait that. I plait it like four or five times. Then put the two pieces together and I kind of twist it together so it'd be one. And then I twist it around into the twist. See that way it's much easier. It's really in there. And I'm not unraveling a twist, I'm just like kind of opening it up so my hair is in the middle of the twist. And you know you're doing it right if you can do this and it kind of moves in the middle. Boom. So that way is way easier. I wish I would have done my entire hair that way, but the next individual I'll braid it how I did this one. I got four packs of hair left. Ready to start crocheting in the middle. so I can go into a ponytail. Doesn't matter how it looks. Or you can use a hairpin. Put that through the loop. I'm actually ready to put this around, make it to a ponytail. Get the crochet hair into the middle. So I'm ready to rig this all up. <laughs> I'm gonna crochet the perimeter and then do this. All right, this is three regular bundles I just put up here. All right, so now I'm ready to try to put this in a ponytail and I have one pack left just in case I have some empty spaces. Okay, I actually gotta crochet some more back here because it's too far away. So that's gonna be the last pack. So if I was laying my hair down and not put it in a bun, this is the length it would be. These are eight inch twists. I didn't flat iron my hair today, so, you know, edges are working, but still cute. Got me some little pieces out. Okay, so now I'm all done, and it looks like I have individual passion twists. Check out the back. Now I give myself an edge up, so don't worry about that. And with this method, you can also do it with two ponytails. You just have to part down the middle and make sure you put your uh, crochet hair in between. Maybe I can do that. You guys let me know if you would like to see that. But for now, this one bun is cute. And this style took me about, I'll say two and a half hours. And this is how it looks with no pieces pulled out. But I like it with the pieces out. So let's get this back. You back, you back. And 
y'all so for a little update this is day six that i've had my hair like this and it's still up in a bun i haven't done my edges since and we've even been to the pool all right so i'm all done with my edges now i'm gonna just take some of my hair oil and put that throughout my scalp i've been doing this like every other day anyway and i just do this you know make sure it's not dry get that little patch in there take some leave-in conditioner all right and that's pretty much how i freshen it up you know Still look really good you still think like i have regular individual and if you're not into this like ponytail method i have so many more crochet videos where they are actually down that you can go check out just click the links down below okay y'all so i'm going to take these out actually and in the front i can literally pull it out like this because i only twist it around my hair that's why i say it's best if you only do this method if it's going in a ponytail not if they're hanging down like individually but in the back remember i did that like the braid method so this one they don't come out that easy see because it's actually plaited onto my hair versus the front it's just twisted in there wait did i braid this one no it just was kind of hard to get out look if i hold it it pulls right out the back no I'm about to unbraid it to get it loose. I'm just trying to find my hair. Then it's easier just unplat it. Then I'll take it loose. It still looks like a regular crochet twist. Not messed up or anything. So you can reuse this. The front is so much easier to take out though. Like what? But the back, they're not going anywhere. I'm definitely doing this method next time I do crochets the individual way. And I'll leave them down. I'm ready to just pull this off because a lot of these just a ponytail thing. Let me stop playing. I gotta wash my hair so I can put on this wig. Alright, put on this wig. Peace. 